gunmen again killed at least 15 people in an attack on four villages in Ishe Luluku government area of Ebonyi State. The gunmen attacked the villages on Monday evening, shooting sporadically and killing the victims in different areas of the communities. They also set ablaze motorcycles belonging to the residents. Some of them who witnessed the attack give account of what happened. How will I know what caused it? There have not been a situation whereby we got into Quagmire with them. We have been living peacefully. Suddenly, we wake up with these cops as a gift. How many people you saw that were killed? Personally, when I counted, before I couldn't hold my emotion again, I counted and I got 16 in number. From the number gathered, it's more than 15. Do you understand? Because uh, from the counting, 16 in number plus maybe some that are still in the bush. Because what do you think that really costs this? Now, this, the cost is no, is what we cannot even tell. Do you understand? Because they are leaving this place without any the kind of prior information. That means they have a kind of ulterior motive. Okay. Because time? wait, because when we had a little uh, this thing, the the, uh, the coordinator being Rashidi by name said that before leaving here that he will make this community to share tears and I believe this is the tears okay then now we are only talking about the dead but there are some females that are coming back from the market that we know we don't even have their uh, their whereabouts now we don't know their whereabouts women that, women that means they must have taken them then we are the ones destroying crops. Okay. Do you understand? We sanction them. Okay. okay. But now coming back, maybe are you rating cow in respect of human being? Let me tell you one thing you should understand. The one thing there is just that I urge the governor to know what to do about it. Meanwhile, Governor Dave Umahe has visited some of the villages where he condemned the attacks in strong terms. He gave the people the assurance of the government to do all within its powers to bring the perpetrators to justice. I got a very shocking news uh, this afternoon about the attack on uh, about four communities. Communities of Nkalaeha, Obago, Amezu, Nkalago, Autonomous communities initially. Umu, uh, yeah, Umuhale, autonomous community, uh, initially local government by uh, AK47 uh, 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 herpsmen that uh, came uh, yesterday and uh, killed 15 of members of these communities. I remember that about a year ago we had an incident of uh, killing of uh, two Epps men uh, within this same location and uh, immediately the security agencies, local government chairman and the community leaders all came together to condemn the attack and the killing and uh, we immediately asked the security agencies to fish out the uh, people that did that. They didn't do it on behalf of the communities. And they did fish them out. And uh, as we talked, they are standing trial in a Boeing state. And uh, the community and the, the government and security agencies appeased the uh, helpsmen uh, and uh, made peace with them. And so it is very shocking that overnight all the herbsmen uh, in uh, Ishelu local government vacated Ishelu local government, which means that the local herbsmen are part of the conspiracy of the killing of our people. They vacated despite all the efforts that uh, my government, governors of Southeast and security agencies have been making to give them full protection. Uh, not only in the Boeing State, but the entire Southeast. We feel so sad that this kind of thing should happen to a Boeing State. We feel so worried for our country, Nigeria. 
we 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 we, we are short of words and uh, uh good enough we have some traces of uh, the sponsors we have traces of those who came here uh, i will not disclose it but i'm going to escalate the uh, identities of the people to the highest authority uh, and uh, we wait to see what they will do